If you have been following this channel for any length of time, you know that I am a huge fan of history. I'm such a big fan of history because it is a great predictor of the future. Hello everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and we are back with another edition of Tactical Book Review. Today's book is a little bit of an outlier. This one is Slaying Leviathan, Limited Government and Resistance in the Christian Tradition by Glenn S. Sunshine. Uh, I say this one's a little bit of an outlier because I almost didn't bother doing a video on this book. However, the more I thought about it, the more I thought it was actually pretty important for what we talk about in general here. So this book is not a tactical book. It's not about doing the pew pews or anything like that. Rather, this is a historical, philosophical, theological work about the foundations of liberty and liberty thought. If you are familiar with much history on the topic, then you should be hopefully very well aware that the majority of the philosophical and theological foundations for the ideas of liberty are found in the Christian tradition. This is something, of course, we've touched on here and there in the past, uh, and that the entire idea of liberty has firm roots in the biblical tradition and in the Christian tradition. It's of course not the only thing it draws on, to be fair. However, the vast, vast majority of liberty thought, especially as it came to us in America, is firmly rooted in the Bible. And this book does a fantastic job of walking through the history of how humans have thought about and viewed liberty. And it does so with, an especial, with a special eye towards the Bible because, as we just mentioned, that's where the majority of it comes from. The title, Slaying Leviathan, is pretty clever. Uh, it is a play off of the Thomas Hobbes, The Leviathan. If you're not familiar with any of that, don't worry. You will be after you get done with this book. This book is not too bad. It's 170 some pages. Uh, and I will admit, it's not an easy reader. There are some books that I review on this channel that are just an easy read, you know, real easy to work through. However, this one, you can get a little lost um, because there's a lot of history and a lot of philosophical thought. I'm a philosophy major uh, from college back in the day, very long time ago. And back then, uh, this would be a book that I very much would have read for my coursework, although I sincerely doubt any college would actually assign it. So if you are interested in learning the history of liberty and liberty thinking, I would highly recommend this book. I hope that you are interested in learning that. It's very important to understand where we came from and understand where the ideas came from that we believe in and to have a firm foundation and rooting in those ideas. Now, I understand that not everybody's philosophically minded and, and this book does not uh, appeal to everybody. And it, honestly, it's not for everybody. But for those of you out there who want to have deep, firm roots in liberty because you consider yourself a thinker and or you just want to know more, I would highly recommend this book. It is a fantastic perspective setting book when it comes to liberty, specifically in the American tradition, how we view liberty and why it's so important. Uh, like I said, he just surveys history since starting from about Augustine kind of up to the modern era. So would highly recommend, I really enjoyed uh, Glenn S. Sunshine's Slaying Leviathan. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.